we know that 55% of people love Biden. What is the chance that in a sample of 100 people, more than 40% more than love him. Okay, so what do we do first? Like notice that because there is a word sample here, yes, you have to draw two circles. If there is a sample, there is definitely a population. So then you think about the population. This is population of what? So people. People. Very good. Population of people. What do we know about the population of people? 55% of those people love yeah, Biden. Yeah, but do we know their average? No. no. This is not average. This is the proportion or percentage. So what we know is that the proportion of the people in the population who love Biden is 0.55. This is the only thing that we know. Right? Now the question is about what? Are we taking a sample? Yes, sample size. One hundred. Very good. And uh, what do we know? We don't know anything about the sample. It asks uh, that the proportion in the population what is the chance that it would be more than 40 percent notice that we show the proportion of the population as p and population of the sample as p bar so that is the population proportion is 0.55 the proportion in the sample is p bar now i have to tell you that the proportion in the the proportion of the sample uh, is not a constant every time that we take a sample we will get a different proportion. What is the most expected proportion in the sample that love Biden? 0.55? Yeah, exactly. But you're, we know that it will not be exactly 0.55. It may be 0.551. If you take another sample, uh, it is quite possible that the next sample may be, you know, this is P1 bar, P2 bar, maybe 0.499, or next sample, you know, these uh, proportions of the sample varies. The proportions vary with a normal distribution. The mean of all of the sample proportions is the proportion in the population. Obviously, like if this is 0.54, this is 0.55, next one is 0.56. If we average all of the sample proportions, all of them are taken from this population. So the average of all of them would be the proportion in the population. Again, it is, can be proven mathematically. And the standard deviation of sample proportions, it turns out that it would be P multiplied by one minus P divided by N. Okay. So do we know how this sample proportion varies? Ladies and Normal. gentlemen, let's think about this. The question is about sample. sample, and it's actually about a proportion in the sample. What percentage of the sample is doing what? Do we know how proportions in the sample vary? Because if we don't know how proportions vary, then we will not be able to answer any question about their chances, right? Do we know how sample proportions vary? This is the symbol for sample proportion, good? Yeah. They vary with, just complete my sentence. Normal they distribution. Vary with a normal distribution. That normal distribution has a mean of? 
uh, the population of the people? Uh, the proportion in the population, proportion. very good. Proportion. And with the standard deviation of P multiplied by one minus P divided by N. So we know yeah. exactly how sample proportions vary. Very good. And because it is normal, we know how to deal with it. Step one is? Identify the distribution. Uh, yeah, basically annotate and identify. Very good. We already yes. did that. And the second step is, if you want me to say, it is identify the points of interest. Lovely. Of course, I want you to say, and the point of interest. Oh, first of all, what is the proportion in the population? 0.55. And the standard deviation, let's calculate that before we go further. 0.55 multiplied by 0.45 divided by 100. So please tell me what is the standard deviation of P bar? Okay, so now we know the, the point of interest. What is the point of interest then? A uh, point of interest we want more than 40% or more. So for, where is 40%? If this is X axis, is that on the right side of this or left side? So we're going to, because uh, the mean is 0. Sorry, 0. 0.55, it's supposed to be the left side. The 40% yes. will be yes. the left side. Exactly. So this is point four, point of interest. Then we have to identify areas. The area of interest is more than this. So maybe I hash it like that and like that. So this blue area, we are interested in anything more than point four. And then the, the we have to find the areas. Uh, to find the areas, we have to go to the table, but table is based on Z. So this is 0 0.4 minus 0 0.55 divided by 0 0.0497. It is minus 3.0181 and it keeps going. Zero one eight? Eight, yes. Okay. Good. So now let's go, and the Z for this one obviously is zero. Um, now let's find the areas. This area is... Point five. Very good. And this area we have to find from the table. Do we have um, 3.01, Z equal to 3.01 in the table? Yes. Yes. Yeah, do we have 0 0.02 in the table? Yes. Which one is closer to this? 0 0.02. Yeah, okay. So tell me that. 0 0.4987. Perfect. Therefore, the... Answer is 0 0.4987 plus 0 0.5, 0 0.9987. So basically, look at the meaning. This means that if we know that 55% of people love Biden, then in sample of 100, the chance that more than 40% love him is like close to 100%. Because in the population, more than 55% like him. So of course, in a sample, more than 40%, you know, the chance that in the sample, more than 40% will like him is a lot. Okay. Uh, what do we write on the left side of the answer? Is oh. it probability of? No, no, you can write it in symbolic form. Thank Good you. question. So the chance that P bar is more than 0.4 is. Very good question.